Sir George Clifford will always be remembered as one of the greatest administrators racing in New Zealand has ever known. For more than 30 years around the turn of the 20th century, he was unchallenged as leader of the New Zealand Racing Conference. They were important years for a fledgling industry, and many of the structures, rules, and basics of modern riding were introduced in his time. But administration was only half of the racing life of the successful farmer and business leader. Along with the other great Canterbury racing man of the era, George Stead, the Clifford name was a dominant force on the track as well. Clifford horses were trained at Chokeball Lodge, just down the road from Rickerton, under the experienced eye of Edward Cutts. They won 116 major races over a 50-year period and earned more than £180,000 in prize money. Throughout the 1890s and up until Stead's death in 1908, the Canterbury legends won just about every major race and one or the other usually headed the owner's list of winners. The main racing difference between Stead and Clifford was that his horses were bred on the family sheep and thoroughbred property at Stonyhurst in North Canterbury. No other stud could match Stonyhurst in terms of locally bred stars. When Clifford headed the owner's list in 1903-04 with 27 wins, it was the first time in New Zealand that an owner who raced horses bred almost exclusively at his own stud had topped the list. Clifford and Stonyhurst bred horses set another remarkable record. A Clifford horse lined up in every New Zealand derby from 1899 until 1924. And the Stonyhurst breeding legacy was to eventually stretch from the mid-1880s until the Second World War. Clifford died in 1930, aged 82. His legacy was a brilliant racing career and a model of administration that was to benefit New Zealand racing for many decades to come.